Hello, welcome back. This is James Soria from UXShape. Uh, today I'm going to run you through this application, uh, this chatbot application I'm working on. Um, at the moment, I just started it a few days ago, about two days ago. So really, I've not done much, but um, I'm just brainstorming, putting things together to to see how uh, this idea can actually turn into something fun and exciting. So, what this chatbot does is that it basically, you know, like a normal chatbot, you chat with it and you get results. That's it. All right. So, and the name of the chatbot is called Waiting Day. Um, anyone who is a Nigerian will know definitely that um, Waiting Day is a popular phrase that they use in Nigeria. And uh, it basically means, What's up? How are you? How are you doing? you know it can be used for you know things like that so and i decided okay well there is really nothing that has been going on in this space and i think okay let me work on something with the idea and the brand name as well so let's see what we could do with it um at the moment i've done some few screens so i'll just go i'm developing this um you can call it prototype or wireframe with azure um rp 8.0 so there's gonna be like this splash screen so when the user download the application from play store or app store they can you know they can see what the application is all about just kind of loading splash screen and um uh, once they are true with that then they have they are on the landing screen now this landing screen gives them a simple kind of a message you know which means i'm awaiting they ask me anything at all now um omo is usually used for guy or you know person or you know an individual so but it's mainly um used by the yoruba tribes okay so but the reason why this application is kind of unique is that you know it brings a mix of pidgin english um good grammar as well and also you know a bit of the local uh, dialect and local slangs you know what people are kind of used to so you know what people can relate to you know whether you are posh or you are not posh everybody in nigeria knows what waiting day is all about so it doesn't really matter whether you are educated or you are not educated you know everyone can relate to what this chatbot is going to be um communicating and how the conversation is going to, to is going to progress so basically what this chatbot can do it can you know it can find something about food shopping payment hospitals you know movies hotels sport transport news and places now the focus is going to be mainly for you know the nigerian you know um, market it's not going to be consigning in, in, in itself to you know foreign foreign news although he, he will be able to do that but that is not the focus right now um he wouldn't be consigned about you know transport what is happening in other countries so we, you know so the idea is to make sure that this application fit within a market you know nigeria is a you know decent uh size population about one and something million but even with the rate of smartphone users if we take people who can communicate effectively and we, we could definitely get a decent size number from that uh, population size of course and this is to solve the a local problem it's not about you know international problems right now so once the user land on this screen they can start the waiting day and you know the chat shows them what is happening i've not done the interaction about it so i'm just giving you uh you know a screen uh, that has been designed already in azure so the chat both with hugs or more waiting they ask me anything at all but wait first make we set up your account now this is a mixture of um, good English and also um, pidgin kind of flow with it and 
the user can type okay no yawa or okay you know that's fine all right and things like that so the chatbot will also you know, reply oh yeah now i'll go ask you something first to know you better now what is chatbot is saying is that you know i'm gonna ask you something so that i can get to know you better you know so but the way it's presented it's not presented in a you know in a standard for my english which is okay everybody understand this and everybody can relate to this type of writing um you know in nigeria which is which is very good and you know i love it i can you know and very direct to the point so then the chatbot asks make i ask now you know it's, it's asking for permission because even though the chatbot is it's a bit um you know he's talking about you know um you know in pidgin english and kind of mixture of grammar english and things like that he still want to make it fun and exciting and it doesn't want to pressurize people into doing something that they don't actually want to do you know so um he doesn't want to put into their face like before you start you have to sign up we want to build up a conversation with the user you know try to understand them and so that the user can feel more confident to speak with this uh with this chatbot so then they're presented with two buttons which is um a bag liver which means you know the the user is saying oh don't ask me anything you know or it's it's very direct with the user and the user as well is direct with the <laughs> with the bot so you want to make a a good first impression kind of all right you know what's gonna happen i'm gonna ask you should i ask you or not and if you don't want me to ask you just tell me straight and then the user can press the button no i beg leave him or yes ask me so now there's no interaction on this i just started it two days ago so really nothing interaction that i've done on this so we just go to the site map here of our actual share and we go to homes uh, no. this is a combination of the screen then we go to the use case that I've created now this use case I'm gonna zoom it so that we can see a little bit all right so we have a uh, I make it full screen here so we have like one around ten and i can make it full screen here so we have something like this now so as you can see we have the first use case okay and um, the first point is we want to get to know the user and we want the user to sign up with our chatbot so that's why i put uh, this simple um user story here. as a user i want to sign up with within the chatbot all right you know it doesn't have to be perfect at this time and the most important thing is we are trying to capture the steps and the flows how the information how the conversation it's going to go from start to end and basically what is chatbot we do here it, it will talk about introduce himself some are waiting they ask me anything at all but first make we set up your account then the person say okay no you are Oh yeah, now I'll go ask you some things to know you better. Make I ask. Then the user say no, I beg deliver or yes, ask me. Now if the user select yes, ask me, the bot now says my correct guy, I beg if you if you don't mind me asking, quickly fill this form to set up your account. So you feel get better. So you feel get the best from waiting there. You know, so it's it, you know you know it's a mixture of english and pidgin english together and it present the user with a you know with a simple form to fill a username and a password and the child can also say or oh, sign up first with your social media account and leave that username and password voila you know because you know a lot of people don't want to be choosing so many username and password so you know is making it fun because while is like you know just leave that problem alone because how many username and password does people you know really want to you know choose now and 
you know, you have to remember or oh, what username did I use on this platform? What password did I use there? So yeah, you want to get to, you just want the person to sign up with Facebook or, or Gmail and with Twitter or something if they have it or if they don't, they can just use their, their username and password. So once the user have captured that information here and they've signed up, then the user say, Oh, my correct guy, thanks. Thanks for signing up and waiting there. You do well, Jared. Before I start to the yarn you better stuff, which means, you know, it's thanking the guy and also he's saying, all right, you know what? Before I start to tell you, you know, nice things, he wants to get to know the person and understand where the person, the location, although they both already internally within the program will know where this, uh, where the person is located from the device, of course. However, we don't just want to save the user location without asking for permission. So the bot is asking for permission here and say, uh, you know, and say something like this, Hunt to say you don't sign up for waiting there. I'm going to store your location so I fit here and you better store for, you know, you know that a lot of Nigerians will have um, things like they say, oh, at the end of maybe any sentence or, or statement or phrase, which that is what we do you know we understand ourselves and we are okay with that and this chatbot is you know is speaking in a language that is relatable what somebody can understand then the next message that the bot will say is so if you agree which means if you agree i beg go i go save your current location as queen street alagomeji yaba lagos yeah well i'm kind of um how do i say it now I know the street in Lagos, so yeah. And this was what just came to my mind. And of course, I'm in England, so I just quickly say, okay, Queen Street, that's fine. Let me put it there. So yeah, so you say if so, if you agree, oh, I beg you, I go save your current location as Queen Street, Alagomeji, Yaba, Lagos. And the chatbot will give the you know um, the user an option to either for them to save for for the chatbot to save um, the user's location onto the machine or to not save it and it's very direct as well here it gives two options which says no i beg not track me now a lot of nigerians will will just tell you bluntly you know they are not going to waste time and say you know oh no please don't save my location no they will just tell you straight away please no track me i beg you know you know that kind of stuff so this chatbot is understanding all right no i'm gonna give you this type of button as well so no i beg no track me and then or it can say then the second button is um okay no yeah i will save them which means all right no problem just save just save my location you know and uh you know i've put um you know a little comment here we say the result of the user uh result of user selection will not be based on location if the user press this button no so any result they get from this chatbot will not be based on their location it's just going to be some random you know um result so it's not going to be based on the user's location so if they are looking for food they are looking for shopping they want to make payment or hospital or something or sports or news it's just going to throw something random from the country so it can be from the northeast western south it's not going to care about the user's location but if the user want to get the best experience then they, they are you know, they are advised to probably allow the chatbot to save their location and then they can say okay no yeah we'll save them now once the location has been saved then the chatbot have this message then you say thank you i appreciate my guy you know that is how some communicate you know and it's making this fun and exciting for the user the user can understand what this chatbot is talking he's not talking too big grammar just making it very simple and short then once that is done then the conversation can continue either if um, the allocation has been saved or not and then they can then the chatbot will say okay now pick anyone make i yeah you better stop so he's saying the user pick anyone from this choice from food from shopping from payment from hospital from movies from hotels sport transport news places and more can still 
be added onto this uh you know onto the chatbot that the chatbot can give the user a result from so this concludes the first use case about the user signing up what we've achieved here is um the user also have already saved their location or they've chosen not to save their location and also they've signed up with either their facebook account or their gmail or their twitter or they've signed up either with a um, user name and password now we've just done the flow of when the when the chat will ask at this section which is the 0, 0.0 the welcome screen which says yes ask me we've just completed that now if the user decided you know what don't ask me anything leave them then the chat book can say okay well, no voila <laughs> which means well all right that's fine no problem not fine but you know it you know you just want to to let the person know okay no voila no problem then the next thing it's um the message next after that is anytime you're ready to ask me anything at all I didn't hear the wait for you. Now it's polite. Anytime you are ready, I'm always here to answer your question to you know to give you any result you want. And then it gives another button again, which says wait a beg or okay, I hear you. Now, if the user selects wait a beg, which means okay, wait a beg, then the bot is kind of understand. Well, all right, you were not interested before now you're kind of getting you know a little bit interesting all right i'm gonna give you this message which is gonna be um okay no while i did here anytime you're ready to ask me anything at all i didn't hear the wait for you then it gives the the button that was given at the initial welcome screen here again and you know they can the the user can decide to go back to this flow or can decide to say okay yes ask me which if it says yes ask me it goes to this uh conversation that we've already discussed now if the um user selected okay i hear you then the chatbot understand okay user still interested but undecided you know he, he doesn't know whether this chatbot even knows what, what he's doing or not or whether this chatbot can can give you know him or her the answers that he's looking for the results he's looking for so so the chat will say correct guy anytime you're ready ask me anything at all are they here they wait for you make i leave you with this joke for now then the chat will automatically generate a joke you know which you know we're just gonna uh, uh, you know just create the internet youtube and, and just get some random you know fun video uh, jokes that Nigerians will really relate to as well so once they are able to do that they they can watch the video listen to it and if they like the video they say nice or uh, uh, you know so the chat would understand okay well this person loves the joke and all right I know what I'm gonna do then it says okay now we we'll go talk later the chatbot is not trying to pressurize the the user at this stage even though the user seems to have enjoyed the the joke the chatbot is not interested in say okay let's sign up now the chatbot say politely okay now we go talk later you sure say you don't want to ask me anything any other thing at all so the chatbot is saying i don't want to be pushy but are you sure you don't want to ask me anything or you know you don't want us to to continue so that we can probably sign you up but it's not saying that um do you think you don't want to sign up now or you know we, so that kind of conversation is trying to build that relationship with the user and that confidence with the user so the user can rest assured and trust this chatbot now if the user get this message okay now we go talk later you sure say you don't want ask me any other thing at all then what's gonna happen is that we present the same button that we we've been presenting at first we present it here again because we the goal of this um use case is to get the user to sign up that is the goal 
once we have this button then if the user select yes ask me then we proceed to the conversation whereby we present the the user with the application form the form to fill the username and password and or to sign up with their facebook account and they can be properly um onboarded into the system so they can register into the system fully now this is probably going to take maybe about you know few few minute chats but the idea and the goal is to enable the user to sign up with the chatbot and so that we can also get a confirmation from the user to save the allocation which we've achieved those things and we can proceed to the next screen which is um which is the case two screen now the second case is this what we're trying to achieve here now is this right the user has signed up already they've created an account with this chatbot this chatbot knows this user's location so he knows where you know this device is and that location has been saved as a default location all right so what we have here now we have this default location so um, i just put a comment here at this point user is registered on, on waiting day user location is saved on waiting day so user know that he's talking to this particular person he's not just talking to a random person and if you look at as well when we're designing our screens um you know in this case one when we are designing our screen you realize that it was the user was not featured here at all because the user has not signed up so we don't really know who we are talking to we only know when the location has been saved here that's when we know that the user we are talking to this particular user so we go to the case the use case number two and we can let's make it full screen so now what the user want to do is that the user want to buy food all right and the user want to buy jello fries okay and they want to have that jello fries with chicken everyone know nigeria have jello fries okay a lot of people might not know that nigeria do fried rice but you know nigeria do fried rice as well jello fries and fried rice is a very popular kind of way of preparing rice instead of white rice and stew all right so we have this use case with with these stories we say as a user i want to buy food jollof fries with chicken or turkey or meat or fish or assorted meat i know this story might be a little bit complicated but what we're trying to achieve here is that we're trying to to make sure that we mirror everything in one process so we could have probably just uh, say I want to buy food or I want to buy jello fries with chicken you know but it doesn't really matter at this stage what the most important aspect of it is that we are trying to capture this um, heading here and in in this conversation and that is what I'm gonna show you right now so from the first use case the user have selected food so they want to talk about food with this chatbot now this chatbot also will know and say okay my correct guy what thing you want food for you won't buy or you won't sell food now this chatbot it's not just a chatbot that will be you know just displaying result of nearby restaurant is a chat that that can enables people as well to also sell stuff so it's like kind of an online marketplace chatbot as well so you we have here which says no i won't sell or yes i won't buy now if the user select yes i won't buy which we are trying to do here now we are not consigning ourselves with uh, i want to sell all right the user want to buy food once the user say like, yes i want to buy food then the chat will say my correct guy wants your food you know kind of a joke like you know okay 
No wala. Which kind of food you want chop now? I think I arrange any one from area for you. Just choose one, I beg. You know, so he's saying that, you know what? What type of food do you want to eat now? Because I can arrange any food you want from within the area because we already have the user's location already. So the chat booth knows, okay, I know your location. I can look for any type of food that you want within this area already because I already know your location. Then it gives the choice, which is jollof rice, fried rice, eba amala, pounded yam, starch, yam, pepper soup, kumkwabi, people that knows this name, Nigerians will be familiar with this. And the purpose of this is to focus our attention on, you know, the, uh, the, the Nigerian market. We not consign ourselves on ordering Chinese food or ordering Indian food or ordering fish and chips or chicken and chips. We are not concerned ourselves with that. So we have these 10 lists which can go as, as long as we want as many options that we can add into here. And this links to when the user select any one of it, which is the jello fries or fried rice, because we are focusing ourselves on this um, case here on this, uh, on this, um, on this user stories here. So we have the user can select either jello fries or fried rice. So if they select jello fries or fried rice, then they can go with this flow. We know rice is rice. Of course, you can't just eat rice alone and people eat rice with chicken, rice with anything. So what this chatbot is asking here is that, okay, no wala. What thing you want to use chop the jello fries now? Because it's asking, okay, what do you want to use to, you know, what other thing do you want to eat with the jello fries? But that is the way if you want to say it's in, you know, in pigeon, you know, you just say waiting you want you chop the rice because you can't really just eat rice just like that. You have to maybe there's meat or fish or chicken or turkey. So we have this option either if the person say jollof rice or if the person say fried rice, we have the same option, which is chicken, fish and, and you know, and whatever. Then we have this option here, which is which we, you know, We've combined the group here. Then we have chicken, turkey, meat, fish. Once they select anyone here, then we'll be able to say, then the chatbot will say, okay, no wala. Leave them for me. Make a search area for you. Because it's searching the area, the location of the user. It's searching if they have jollof rice and fried rice. And if they have either jollof if if they do jollof rice and chicken or jollof rice and turkey or jollof rice and meat or jollof rice and fish or jollof rice with assorted meat assorted means means any type of meat it, you know that is what um we call it in nigeria assorted meat it can be liver it can be fish it can be meat it can be anything at all it's assorted meat all right. of, of course it's not going to be fish but it could be fish as well because it's assorted anything you want to add into the the um the stew or the rice or anything you can add that's it so the chatbot then says okay no wala leave them for me make a search area for you then the chatbot finds an area i don't find some places with it arrange which means the option selected that can arrange either rice and chicken or rice and turkey or rice and fish. Then we have this list um, of the business that is displayed here. Now we can say maybe like, you know, the business Mama Put. So we know what, uh, in Nigeria, know what uh, Mama Put is all about. And uh, we have the, the business phone number. And we're going to have the opening time of the business. And we're going to have the delivery and the cash uh, and the payment option. Now, this information will be captured if the user wants to sell. So we'll know, and that is how we're going to be giving this result out. We're not just gonna be doing random because not all business in Nigeria are on Google. So we're not gonna be relying on Google search results to give us where there's a contain or there's places where a place where they eat food somewhere or where you can buy food we're not going to be relying on that because the result may not be there in fact nine out of ten 
it's not going to be there. So this kind of a marketplace and people can sell and they can you know buy stuff as well. So we'll be displaying this result based on the information we have in the system and also based on the user's location from this type of um, these businesses. So here now we're going to have here. So the user type something like nice one, and then the board say, okay, no while a day here, anytime. Then it says, well, I've given you your results. I've helped you to uh, to find where you can buy your your rice and chicken, and okay, no problem. I'm I'm still here anytime. Then it say, okay, I need. To get some feedback, but it doesn't want to be pushy, so he said, "On to say I don't arrange food for you now. I beg you, feel rate my service because he's saying, well, I've done this for you. Please, can you rate my service? You know, so he's not saying just rate my service like that. He's saying, well, I've done this for you. Please, can you rate my service? And you know, he it has a." Um, this button which is one star two star three star four star five star and the user can select five star then the chatbot is happy so oh, my correct guy and it can also ask the user to share what they found which is this business on Facebook on Twitter and they will be able to share it with their friends and relatives and everybody so the chatbot is coming up and um, this is just a, a I know it's about 30, 32 minutes now but uh, this is a quick um, tutorial which I think uh, is just to demonstrate how this chatbot is gonna work I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial just a quick demo and if you have any question or any comment at all uh, be free to subscribe to my channel leave a comment and I will be glad to respond and reply to your comments so thank you very much for watching bye for now